Cruise lines have to choose which ones they will pursue. Profits or protocols? We all remember as shareholders and as cruisers, the huge profits made in 2019 by cruise lines, they were in the billions each quarter. The demand had never been higher for cruising. New ships were being built. Are cruise lines going to pursue that in July of 2021 or are they really pursuing the protocols that they've agreed to with the CDC and they know work? I think we can speak for Carnival Cruise Line and what they're going to pursue based on their actions this week. Let's talk about it right now on Island Time. Welcome back all you Islanders. We are so thankful to be here with you on this beautiful weekend. We've had a great weekend. We hope you have too. Remember, we have a date tonight. You better not bail out on me. You better be there seven o'clock tonight, central time. We will be live. We will get to spend an hour together talking about cruising, talking about family, playing games. It's going to be fun. Set your alarm right now for 6.55 Central Time and plan to join us. Better yet, just subscribe to the channel, click the bell. It will let you know on your phone or any of your devices when we go live and when we create new content. Let's talk about a big question and an observation that I've made all week. I have several friends cruising this week, both on the breeze, and I had a lot of friends on the July 10th sailing on the Carnival Horizon. During the week, they text me and they said, Derek, deck two or part of deck two looks like it's shut down. It looks like it's closed off to passengers. And they feared, and other cruisers did too, for the worst, that there was some sort of outbreak. It was something that I couldn't even mention on here because I knew it would take off like wildfire. What it ended up being was a crew who had come over from other ships who needed to quarantine for a certain amount of time. And these passengers who some stayed on deck two would see from time to time the mill carts rolling up and down the aisle, the, the floor, and they thought, oh my gosh, you know, they're getting food delivered to them. Something is wrong. And nothing was actually wrong. Carnival was doing what they were supposed to be doing. But their actions the last couple of days shows that Carnival is about the protocols and they are erring on the side of caution in every situation, which is so thankful to see as a cruiser, as a shareholder, and someone who knows the seriousness of the time period that we live in. A lot of my friends the last couple of days have enjoyed the last part of their cruise. A lot of people shop on the last part of their cruise. And I've been told by my friends who are on there, and it's this has been confirmed by several people, that all the shops, the fun shops, were closed the last day or two on the Carnival Horizon due to crew and those working felt ill. It would have been easy for Carnival to keep those two or three crew members who did not feel good to go ahead and let them rest and to keep the shops open. After all, those shops generate a ton of profit. But that's not what Carnival did. Those that I know and those, of course, that I follow and I'm friends with on Facebook, they shared the shops have been closed. Carnival closed down the fun shops on the horizon the last couple of days in pursuit of doing what's right, obeying by the protocols, erring on the side of caution, keeping crew safe, keeping passengers safe, and keeping their ships on the water. That's what we all want. It really is what we all want. Yesterday we talked about the new variant, the Delta variant, and its impacts that it's having right now on cruising and that it will have on cruising. We talked about could it shut down cruising again? That answer was no. I don't think it will, but there are impacts and Carnival is doing everything it can to mitigate when they need to and to pursue action even when it means that we're going to follow protocols over profit. I was, I was uh, excited to see and I was happy to see that Carnival made this decision the last couple of days. Some people were upset. After all, 
If you've had cruises canceled, you know that you have all, all kinds of onboard credit, $600, $700, $1,000. And some people wanted to use this money in the fun shops the last day or two and were not able to do so. But even they were understanding that this was the right thing to do. Now, I'll add this as well. Those are the details that we know. What we don't know is the rest of the story. We've been told that the crew have been tested, that uh, the, those tests are okay. We've been cr told that the crew, of course, is okay. We're thinking of them, we're praying for them, of course. We don't know necessarily their exact condition, but we know this, Carnival made the right decision in following protocols instead of chasing profits. That makes me happy to be a Carnival Cruiser. That, ha that makes me happy to be a shareholder. And we are so excited and looking forward to cruising with Carnival in just six days. Six days, we are so ready. Carnival is chasing protocols and doing what's right over profits. And in the long term, we both know that if you do things the right way in business, if you treat people the right way, if you provide a good experience and a good uh, atmosphere and environment and culture for people, that that in turn will lead to profits. Chasing the profits does not always lead to profits. Doing things the right way is what will lead to profits. So we know the answer for Carnival. I'm sure the other cruise lines, Royal Caribbean, and of course Celebrity, who's on the water now, I'm sure they're doing the same thing. And I'm sure that there have been scenarios just like this that we don't know about. The only reason why I'm talking to you today about this is because we know about this situation. We know people who were on board the July 10th sailing, and that sailing is now over. That's why I'm telling you about this now. I did not want to create some sort of hysteria or hype uh, while the cruise was still going on. So Carnival's doing what's right. I'm sure the industry is, and it makes me happy to be a cruiser. It makes me happy to be an Islander and part of the community. We can't wait to see you tonight. We have all sorts of things planned. And it's in just a few hours. So set your timer, set your alarm, and plan to join us. We cannot wait to spend some time with you and talk about cruising and what you want to see when we go in less than a week on the Carnival Vista. We'll see everyone tonight right here on Island Time.